and I'm a professor at the University of Texas at Austin Marine Science Institute and today we're going to be doing what we call working up fish. So here at the Coastal Fisheries Research Program we collect information on the biology and the population and ecology of each of these different species of fish. And so, so today for each of these fish we're going to measure them, we're going to measure their length, we're going to weigh them uh, and you can look at the weights for different fishes of different lengths to see how their condition is. In other words, Heavier fish at the same length are considered to be in better condition. We're going to dissect them and take a look at their gonads, which are the reproductive organs, to see whether they're spawning or not. Dissect bones from their skull, we call them ear bones or otoliths, and from those we can actually determine the age of the fish and get better information about how fast they grow. So the standard length, which essentially goes from the tip of the nose to the last bone in their vertebrae. And you can feel it, if you bend it, you can kind of pinch there with your finger and you can feel where it ends. It's basically where this little tail bends right here. That's standard length. And the other one is total length, which is more common, especially with fishermen, because we use that to set fishery regulations. We just pinch the tail and go all the way to the longest part of the end of their tail, and that's the total length. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is take a body weight. We have a bunch of different scales here. These are calibrated spring scales. So basically, you know, the, the weight of the fish will pull these down. They're actually really precise. And we have kilos on the side, 1.75 kilos. Let's dissect them. So we're gonna make an incision here in the urogenital opening, all the way up here to the belly. And that allows us to take a look at the gonads. And this is an interesting because we are now just turning into April. And this is just about the time when spotted sea trout start spawning. So we might find something interesting. We expect to see some sort of evidence of development that the, the reproductive organs are developing and getting ready to spawn. They shouldn't be there yet, but who knows? Uh, it's been a warm spring, so maybe they've started to spawn. Okay. And lo and behold, there we go. You can actually see them pretty well, I think. You see these organs in my, my middle finger here on my left hand? That's actually one of the ovaries. And you can see by the white creamy color that that's evidence that they are what we call spawning capable. This female is just coming into the spawning season. You can see, if you look really closely, um, these granulated pieces here, those are actually individual eggs we call oocytes. Those are the eggs that the fish will eventually release into the water during spawning. So you can see that kind of granulated appearance. Those are eggs. We made the incision and then broke open the skull to expose the otolus, which hopefully you can see right here. Again, they occur in pairs. They sit right at the base of the skull. Information to understand the status of the population and help manage their fishing.